Welcome back to another Packet Tracer video. This is uh, Activity 314, Determining Network Strengths and Weaknesses. Uh, so we're looking at this film company network, and we're just going to be looking around, um, kind of doing an analysis of uh, the physical and logical setup, and kind of see what we can find and uh, see what they're doing well and what it could be improved on it. So first we're going to examine the physical location of devices. So to do that we can go to the physical workplace and we can go into home city here and uh, we can see the this is this ellipsis right here is uh, Uh, the wireless coverage around the film company building. So that looks pretty good. It's over here. Oh, we've got our ISP over there. Alright, so you can actually go into these buildings. Um, so the wireless coverage looks pretty good. This is the whole building, and then it's a little short. Yeah, there's rooms here that aren't getting any wireless, so the wireless is definitely not getting the whole building. So we can actually enter the wiring closets and see where they're located. So here's the MDF and the POP. Oh, look at this. Wow. So there we go. We got some switches. Uh, looks like probably a router here in that closet. Um, oh, look at that. Uh, we've got our DSL modem here. Uh, looks like we got a wireless access point in this one. So, and we got just general work areas here bunch of PCs and a printer. So let's look in the production wiring closet. We got a production switch and that's it. Conference room has one PC. Alright, so now we can examine the device configuration. So we can go back to logical workplace. And we can access each of the network devices in film company network and use all these show commands. And we're just looking for information on the speed of links, traffic, filtering, and other information you can gather. So let's start right here. So we can do a show run on this one. So we are in, uh, we have got spanning tree on this one. And we've got NAT configured on this one. We've got an access list one that's permitting 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0.
we've got some DHCP excluded addresses in here. And also on spanning tree. I'm not seeing any passwords on these. So that could be a security issue. You'd see them at the beginning of a show run. Uh, let's see. So you can just go through here and uh, just look at each one of these and just see what we've got. I'm going to do a show run on this one. So we do not have any password set, so that's definitely uh, bad for security. And they've got they've got it set up uh, for telnet and console connections, but they have no passwords on that on either of those. So it's definitely something you'd want to address. Um, we also see uh, you can tell just by looking right here between these two switches, we have these gigabit lines. Uh, between the two switches uh, but everything else looks like we're on uh, just regular fast ethernet um, so that uh, that's definitely going to affect it it might be better to um, upgrade some of these if they don't have the, fa the gigabit ethernet available which it doesn't look like they do so it looks like we have some older equipment in here that uh, could be upgraded. Uh, these switches have uh, all gigabit Ethernet, so that's uh, another possibility. Need some upgraded switches. We need to put some passwords on the uh, Telnet uh, and console lines. Another thing that's kind of a weakness for this network is it's basically a star topology. You could definitely build in some redundancy uh, right in here. Uh, either right across here or right across here or both um, just to be a little more redundant because if this line is gone you're going to lose this entire half of the network. All these down here are going to be gone. If you lose this line, then just this is going to drop off. So that is another thing to address with this network is uh, to add some more lines and try to make it a little more resilient to failure. Um, so uh, Um, some of the strengths of this network, I would say, uh, it looks like it's pretty basic to set up uh, with the star topology. It's not hard to uh, hook it up and get it going. Um, oh, another weakness we did see was that wireless network that only reaches about half their building. So you may be looking to uh, maybe install another access point off of one of these switches that's in another part of the building to increase your wireless signal. Uh, so uh, there's a couple things they could improve with this design, uh, but that is just a little bit about looking at network strengths and weaknesses. Thank you very much for watching.